reliability test in SPSS using Chrompax Alpha for Likert scale questionnaire or a survey. Reliability test measures the internal consistency of items. It does measure whether the questionnaire is consistent and reliable and reproducible if the same items or questions repeated at different different time and date for for the same group of participants their responses or outcome will be similar so it is a way of evaluating the questionnaire or a survey to determine whether the questionnaire is reliable or not there are several different ways to do the reliability test based on Chromepax Alpha and in this uh, one I'm going to show you how to do it through using the ANOVA table in SPSS. Here in this SPSS data view I had inserted data taken from a questionnaire and their responses of the participant uh, for answering 20 questions or items were rec recorded and inserted based on the five Likert scale from one to five. One represent strongly disagree and five means strongly agree and a value of three represent a neutral response. So this data here are ordinal data and to determine the reliability of the questionnaire or the survey, we're going to determine the value for the Chromebax Alpha. The way to determine that value is to use the ANOVA table. If we click on Analyze, scroll down to Scale, then select the reliability analysis. Going to reset this. I'm going to select the items we need to check the reliability for. So from item number one to item number 20. So select the items by clicking on Control A. Then deselect the ID, drag it into the box labeled items we still use the Chromebacks alpha here but if we click on the statistics i'm going to use this section here in the reliability analysis statistics window uh, sections showing ANOVA table and i'm going to click on the f test to get the uh, ANOVA table and leave the rest unticked. If I click on continue and then click on OK, again tables will be generated and as we can see here the software has already calculated the reliability uh, for the questionnaire Chromebax Alpha which is equal to 0.81. In the third table here a uh, NOVA called ANOVA table there are few important value in that table for the mean square we are going to calculate and determine the alpha from the alpha value from this ANOVA table based on, on two important value the mean square for the between people and the value for the mean square between residuals i.e error in this case and the way to determine the alpha value from ANOVA is to use these values so first we need a calculator and if we click on the calculator here we're going to calculate the alpha value by inserting one 
minus the value for the mean square of residual or error so 1 minus 1.111 1 then divide that by the value for the mean square of between people which is 5.981 and if you click on equal sign a value of 0.814 is generated this is the value for the Cronbax alpha which is exactly the same value here Cronbax alpha this value of 0.81 means that the questionnaire is 81 percent reliable to cross reference this value into the table given here for the Cronbax alpha and reliability level any alpha value of point that is equal to 0.9 or greater then the reliability will be excellent a questionnaire that have a value between 0.8 and 0.89 have a good reliability a questionnaire that is considered to be acceptable in reliability have a value of alpha between 0.7 and 0.79 a survey that have a alpha value between 0.6 to 0.69 have a questionable reliability and a survey will have a poor reliability if the alpha value is between 0.5 and 0.59 and a questionnaire that have a value of alpha less than 0.5 will be considered unacceptable or unreliable so this is the way to perform a reliability test for a questionnaire or a survey based on Cronbax Alpha using ANOVA table in SPSS.